Uh, my name is Kat and I'm Lead Village Keeper um, in the village, the yeah, area of Wildlife Safari. And this is Ellen and she is the primary trainer for our ring-tailed lemur family. So we're going to talk to you guys a little bit about our ring-tailed lemurs. This is our little troop. A group of ring-tails is called a troop and this is um, our one of our newest babies here. This is Ro and she is four months old. And up above on this pole right here, this is Martinelli, and she's gonna be four in May. And we also have Blue, who just had a birthday. She just turned five, so we've got some extra special birthday snacks for her right here. <laughs> so what we're feeding them right now is a little mix of fruits and veggies. Ellen's doing some training with some extra special treats. These guys really, really love their grapes. And we also have our father of the kiddos. This Cyrus. here is Cyrus, and he's the only, um, <laughs> <laughs> he is 18 years old, and he is unfortunately at the bottom of the totem pole. So the way that lemur uh, family groups work is there is one dominant female, and the males, they're sort of on the bottom banana. Um, so he has to usually wait until the girls are satiated before he can get to some of the better snacks. So ring-tailed lemurs are one of the most characteristic species of lemurs. Uh, they're found only on the island of Madagascar. All lemurs are endemic to Madagascar. So they're only found there and the sur surrounding smaller islands. <laughs> a lot of folks might see these guys and think, oh my gosh, look at the monkeys. Well, these animals, they are primates, but they're not monkeys. They're in a special group called prosimian, which means before monkeys. So even though they might have some more ancestral characteristics, they've got a little bit of a longer snout and their noses are moist. So that just means that they rely more heavily on their sense of smell than other primates do. <laughs> Thank you. Do you want me to give Marty her birthday snacks or are you still working on some? No, you can give Blue birthday snacks. Brenton sorry, says Brenton. happy birthday. <laughs> Here you go. Get her before you guys. <laughs> Stephanie <laughs> wants to know how long they live. Oh, that's a great question. So in the wild, uh, maximum lifespan is about 18 years. And in captivity, they can live as long as 30, which is pretty cool. Awesome. <laughs> Good. So these guys have a really wide um, variety of foods in their diet. Ringtail lemurs, they spend most of their time um, foraging and searching for foods, but they'll also spend a lot of time on the ground. So even though um, they are still able to climb up and above in the trees, the species is going to spend most of their time on the ground searching for different types of foods that they like. So here at Wildlife Safari, we've got a variety. We've got some apples, some tomatoes. They're really not super fond of a lot of the vegetables, but they do like cooked sweet potato and carrots, probably because it has a lot more sugar value in there. We also give them a supplemental Good. biscuit. Um, so these biscuits just give them a little bit more nutrients that the raw fruits and veggies don't always provide. Abraham wants to know what their favorite food is. They really like grapes. We also will use um, blueberries as a reinforcer for training. Blueberries are the girl's favorite food. <laughs> <laughs> Lily is asking why they have the long striped tails. Oh, that's a great question. So these guys, they don't use their tails in the trees. They don't support their full weight, but they can use them for balancing and for something very special called stink fighting. So males, they can be very territorial. They have scent glands on their wrists and on their chest. And when they want to uh, compete for another female with other males, They'll rub those scent glands on their tail and they'll actually wave those tails in the air to see who has the bigger and better stink. Sometimes Cyrus will try to stink fight his reflection if he gets close to the water. <laughs> How far can they jump? Ooh, that's a great question. I'm not sure exactly the feet that they can jump, but here at Safari, I have seen them jump pretty far between these poles here. Uh, I've seen them jump from the far pole, pole to the middle pole. They're pretty, pretty nice. good little climbers. <laughs> and how many lemurs do we have here at Safari? So we have the five ring-tailed right. lemurs here on this island. We also have two males on one of our lower lemur islands. And we have, so that's seven total uh, ring-tailed lemurs. And we have four red ruff lemurs. And they're found on the furthest island um, down there past our Australia walkabout. <laughs> Stacy is asking, what are the common illnesses for lemurs? Ooh, that's a great question. Um, so these guys are susceptible to um, a lot of different things that um, 
primate, other primates are able to get. So that's why we have to be really careful when we're working with them so that <laughs> <laughs> so that we don't pass similar germs. But as far as diseases, I'll have to look that up. I'm not really sure what the most common diseases are for these guys to get. We have someone checking in from Mexico. Welcome. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Kayla is asking how long do lemurs live? So lemurs in the wild, their maximum lifespan is about 18 years and in captivity they can live as long as 30. So we're looking forward to having these guys around for a long time. <laughs> and how old are the lemurs that we have here that we're watching right now? So right now our male Cyrus, he is 18 years old. He's over there. <laughs> we have birthday girl uh, Blue that just turned five. Marty, her sister, she's going to be four in May. And we have our bouncy little girl Ro, who is four months, and older brother Dimitri up here, and he is six months. Ooh, Izzy has a good question. He's ten months old right now. Izzy is asking, what is the stick that the keeper's using? What do you use that for? That's her target pole. I just fed them out with their tasty treats. You have any better tasty treats in here? Some banana. Oh, Corn? Corn. Corn. That's a sugary treat. Here's some melon too. Oh, perfect. Melon. So I can ask them to target, which means I want them to put their nose to the end of this stick here. And then I can use this stick to kind of ask them to go about the island if I really need them to walk around or anything like that or try to get them to go to a different place that um, I want them to go to. So Marty, can you target? <laughs> you are cheating. <laughs> so they have their cute little hands that are really good at grabbing things and she's really smart so sometimes she likes to grab it instead of just putting her nose to it and she is teaching her daughter bad habits. <laughs> Marty, excuse you. Excuse you, Marty. Good. We have a couple people asking how many babies they can have and how long they are pregnant. So they're typically pregnant around 134 to 138 days. Um, and typically they'll give birth to just um, one baby, but if food is really, really plentiful, they can have two. <laughs> and someone's asking if we breed the lemurs here at Wildlife Safari. Yeah, so we are part of the species survival plan here at Wildlife Safari. So our babies, Ro and Dimitri, um, they are um, offspring because we have that great breeding. We're part of that great breeding program. Um, it's developed by AZA just to promote um, the really good genes and the prosperity of um, threatened or endangered species in captive population. You can think of it as like tinder uh, for animals. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call a baby lemur? Is there a special name for it? Oh, I don't know. I think when I was doing my research when Dimitri was first born, I think they're actually called a pup. <laughs> pups. Good questions, but guys. I just call them babies. <laughs> so I don't know if you're able to see when he opened his mouth, um, but all species of lemur, except for the eye eye, have a really special structure on their bottom jaw, and it's called a tooth comb. And they use that to groom themselves and others, and to help strengthen social bonds. Got to keep that fur nice and clean. <laughs> awesome. If anyone else has questions, feel free to post them. Oh, good one from Kayla. What is your favorite part about working with lemurs? What's your favorite part, Ellen? <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part, since I'm their, their primary trainer, is I love training with these guys because they're so smart and they're so interactive. So they're really, really easy to work with and train, even though they can be frustrating because they are so smart sometimes. <laughs> But it's pretty fun watching these two younger ones grow up and start learning and start doing things more like a lemur would. So it's pretty cool watching them grow. Becca wants to know if they ever leave this area. So they do not. So I don't know if you guys can see right now, but we're on an island that's surrounded by a little moat. And that moat is what keeps these guys on this island. So if lemurs cannot swim, if they were to get wet, then their fur gets really, really heavy and they're not able to move their bodies through the water. So it acts as a natural barrier for them. Uh, that's probably the reason why uh, lemurs are only found on Madagascar and the smaller islands is because they can't swim. They can't leave. <laughs> <There. 
Some more good questions. What are their favorite snacks for those just tuning in? Yeah. So they really like blueberries, bananas, grapes. Um, sometimes for extra fun stuff, we'll give them um, <laughs> some dry um, cereal like Cheerios. A little crunchy. Let's see. They also like the more sugary vegetables like cooked sweet potatoes and carrots. Lily wants to know what they sound like. Oh, so these guys have a lot of different um, vocalizations. They have about 28 different calls. So some calls range from being like a really soft, gentle coo to a really loud alarm call. I don't want to make them because I don't want them to make them. <laughs> <laughs> call them to them. Christina's asking if their vision is better at night or during the day. Uh, lemurs are diurnal, so they're going to be most active during the daytime. So their vision will probably be better suited towards daylight. Okay. BJ wants to know how many rings are on their tails. It's 13. It's a very distinct number. Um, so they have 13 alternating black and white rings and that's uh, across all ringtail zemers. So they have the same number of <laughs> rings no matter the size of the tail. Cool. Amelia wants to know can lemurs very high. <laughs> And Kayla is asking, do you give the lemurs baths? <laughs> we don't give them baths. Um, these guys are able to groom themselves. So they do grooming every day as part of their family group and social bonding. They've got a special um, structure in their lower jaw called a tooth comb. And it pretty much just looks like a little comb made out of teeth that helps keep their fur <laughs> nice and clean. So we don't have to bathe them. Exciting. And could you imagine how hard that would be? That would be... <laughs> <laughs> Like wrangling a bunch of lemurs. Yeah, yeah. it would be hard. <laughs> Stephanie wants to know how much they weigh. So the girls weigh um, just under three kilograms. So that's what, about six or so pounds. Mm -hmm. uh, Cyrus, he's a little bit bigger. Um, he's near uh, three, just over three kgs. So just over six pounds or so. Uh, the babies are about half that weight. So probably around Jaden asks, do they have claws? So they do um, have nails on the ends of their fingers. Um, not like your typical like claw, like a dog or a cat would have, but if they were to get aggressive or into a fight with each other, they could definitely use those long nails to do some damage. And Kaden is asking, what is their favorite thing to do? Oh man, when it's sunny <laughs> out, they really like to um, sun worship. <laughs> and they'll kind of open up their soft belly fur and just absorb the warmth from the sun. Um, that's one of my favorite things that I see them do. How about you, Ellen? I mean, they like doing that, and the, the little ones, they definitely like to annoy their parents a whole <laughs> lot. And sometimes it can get so excessive that they'll be flying across the island while we're cleaning, and you'll just see a streak of lemur, and you're just kind of out of lots of words <laughs> for a second. We've got some Madagascar fans here asking if we ever sing I like to move it, move it to them. <laughs> I did once. <laughs> For enrichment day. It was a dance party. I don't think they liked it. <laughs> awesome questions. <laughs> Kayla wants to know, do they take naps? Oh, yeah. That's one of their, their good social habits that they have is they cuddle up together. They curl up, wrap their tails around each other to keep that warmth in and they take naps together. So the family that naps together stays together. <laughs> right, Cyrus? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys so much. And hopefully you guys will tune in tomorrow when we go live again with a new animal to teach you about. Bye guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.